Hello Cancers, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot and this is your reading for the week ahead. As always, if anything I say resonates or you feel it will resonate in the future because obviously it's not happened yet, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading. What's happening for the beautiful Cancers this week? Oh, Judgment, first card out. Six of Cups, yeah, Six of Cups. Then the Page of Swords and the King of Cups. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Judgment card is usually about making a choice. Making sure not only that you're making a choice, it's usually about making sure you're making your decisions from the right place and not from ego, not from desperation, making sure you're doing what you want to do, not what you feel you must do. Like, I don't know why that's coming in. Six of Cups is an energy of returning to a more childlike state of being, very much like your inner child is coming out this week. So there could be something here where there's a conscious decision for you on your mind this week it's always like okay what would my inner child most prefer me do with that judgment card it's like all your decisions um whether this be a friend says let's do this you're you're like hmm would inner me want to do this would little me want to no okay i can't sorry i'm busy that day like there's something where all your plans all your decisions all the moves you're making you're making sure they're fun ones. You're making for sure they're things that you actually are excited about. Page of Swords. Oh, sorry. Did I call this the Page of Swords? It's Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is all about... Um, it's like... I don't know why I'm getting that thing come through. It's like, never let them know your next move. And you're just doing something unpredictable. Um, like, I don't know if you've seen that trend. I think it's a trend kind of thing where you see a video and it's like... The person just does something really freaking random, really unexpected, um, and that's you this week. It's you're not letting people know your next move. You're just gonna. I feel like some of you are appearing somewhere that you don't usually go, as well. So if you're someone that doesn't usually go to like, hmm, it feels like I'm getting lots of friends around you this week, lots of people around you, but you don't usually do this or like there's a hangout spot but you don't usually include yourself um and you're actually gonna do it you're actually gonna go somewhere hmm it's like a long time i'm getting long time no see and that makes sense because six of cups can also be people returning to your life or a person returning that you've not seen in a while so some of you are going somewhere but it's really like out of the blue nobody's expecting you to be there but they're happy that you are king of cups I don't know why he's here. I'm not even going to try and read him without a clarifier. But King of Cups is a very good card. Um, whether this is your energy or someone else's, King of Cups is just somebody emotionally balanced. Very much calm and collected. Cool as a cucumber kind of thing. Clarified judgment. Judgment clarified by the Ace of Cups. Oh, and the lovers underneath. Cancer. You're making a decision around your love life this week. You're deciding to either let it in or let it out. Let it go or let it in. Um, and you're making sure it's it's not supposed to be hard. I don't know why it's coming in. Like, it's not a hard decision. If you've got to make a decision and it's really, really hard and you don't know what to do, you probably already know the answer. Like, you already know it should be easy as anything. If it's not an easy yes, it's a no. I hope that makes sense. Oh, that was loud, sorry. The chariot card with the six of cups. Chariot is all about success, travel, moving forward, multitasking. With the six of cups, some of you, it's like you're bringing your friend along, which is a weird thing to say, but six of cups can be like a past best friend, a past, um, hmm, with the chariot. Are you traveling? It's almost like maybe there's someone from the past traveling to see you. Maybe that's what I was missing. Or you're traveling to go and see someone that you've not seen. I'm getting a lot of it is overseas. A lot of you are traveling overseas. But it just feels like um, maybe unexpected. Like you, this person really doesn't expect you to show up. 
at their doorstep. These cards are acting up. Two of Cups trying to come out with the Artist card, with the Four of Cups, with the Hermit. But for some reason, I don't feel like they're coming out. Like, they're just jumping up. Because I hadn't even shuffled. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Now they're going to be annoyed at me. The cards aren't coming out. They're like, we've told you already. Clarify the Seven of Swords again. Sorry. Hangman. Hanged Man is taking a pause, taking a step back. Um, some of you are going on holiday, but people aren't expecting it. And that's part of like the never let them know your next move. I feel like um, you've got a lot of work on, you've got a lot of business, you've got a lot happening. And then you're like, all right, I need a time out. I, I, need, I need me time. And nobody's expecting it. Maybe even including yourself. But it's, it's good to stop for a second and kind of look at the bigger picture. And with the Seven of Swords, don't worry about explaining your choices to anybody. Um, people, I don't know, I just feel as if people might take this the wrong way. People might see you in a different light for taking time out to look after you. And if anybody is looking at you, judging you, you've got the judgment card, people are judging you if they are for you looking out for yourself, you taking time for yourself, then these people aren't people that you should really care about the opinions of because they're not very smart. If they think that everything has to be about work 100% of the time and they're going to judge you for taking time to yourself, don't take it to heart. It's completely to do with them and their own ideas about life. There's nothing to do with you. Um, I just feel as if there is a little bit of like, huh? Cancer's disappeared. Cancer's doing this. Now? Is that a good idea? Don't they have responsibilities? But there's something here with it's like they don't know your life, they don't know you, and they're just um, either deflecting or, yeah, it just doesn't feel like it's anything to do with you. So don't care about anybody else's judgment. Could even just be you having that on your mind. Maybe it's just you worrying that people are judging you. Um, and don't, don't. Nobody knows you. Nobody knows what you're going through. Nobody knows what you need to break from. Clarify the King of Cups. Page of Cups, Ten of Swords. Hmm. There is someone surprising you when you're not feeling your best. Hmm. It's like Ten of Swords is very. This came out for someone else, I'm pretty sure. Page of Cups, Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is very much feeling a little bit low. At some point in this week, you're not feeling grand. You're not feeling the greatest. And then with the Page of Cups, it's... Page of Cups is sometimes an apology. And because this is coming with the Ten of... With the King of Cups, sorry. It really could be someone coming into your life and apologising. Um, and you're like, oh, I didn't know I needed to hear that. And it's going to be very helpful and healing for you. Others of you, Page of Cups can just be a surprise. So there's someone surprising you. This person is very loving. This person is very, like, um, selfless, I'm getting, they're very, um, intuitive, they're also empathetic, they're very much aware of your emotions, instead of just aware of their own, they're thinking about you and them, just like, because I feel as if you, with the, there's a lot of love around you, and I feel like you're aware of everyone else's emotions, and there's someone here that is aware of yours as well, and it might be quite rare, because it's surprising you that this person is just as loving and caring as you are, um, if not more, if not more, not this competition, but this person is just so full of love, um, I feel like there's more love than you've been able to kind of have for others because you've not really felt it or something, it's just introducing you to a different level of something, um, Ten of Swords, I just, I don't know what's going on with you, but it's just like you're not mentally or emotion no it's mentally mentally you're not doing well but you're gonna be you're gonna be okay because you always are whatever's going on um there is a little bit of a need to distance yourself from some things but apart from that you've got whatever it is you're whatever it is you're facing you've got it you've got this and with the king of cups here there's someone that's also there for you more than you realize They've got your back, <laughs> which is very nice. I'm going to wrap your reading up here. Thank you so much for watching. If anything I said resonated or you feel it will in the future, please let me know by liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next Tuesday for Tiny Tilted Tarot Tuesdays.